Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Shan and this is baby George. George is four months old and tonight we're going to be doing an evening routine video. As you would have seen in my last video, George is going through a bit of sleep regression but we are doing some stuff to tackle that and I kind of wanted to give you a full evening routine as to what we're doing but I'm also on my own this week so it is just me and George so I'm doing everything from housework to washing to seeing to George to trying to cook myself some dinner as well so yeah we are we're all alone but it's not too bad we're getting there so I kind of just wanted to um just film my evening really and hopefully get to bed on time yeah if you could, it would be amazing if you would like this video. If you're on the telly, I watch my YouTube on the telly. You can do that on the remote as well if you just scroll down and then scroll across the little like button's there. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. It would just help me grow and share with other people as well. But let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy it, guys. So we're starting off about 4pm because that's the time that George is going down for a nap. He woke up a little bit off of schedule this morning so we're just kind of going from him and changing his nappy using all of the beautiful hacks that I love that I've learned from YouTube which is put the nappy in underneath before you change the nappy then you've got one ready to go easy peasy make a little parcel pop it in the nappy bin I love this nappy bin by the way I'll link it down below because it's so so good now he's nice and changed and everything I'm going to pop him into his big boy cot for his last nap of the day and I'm making sure that he's in his transitional swaddle because I feel like it's helping him with the sort of four months progression coming out of his proper swaddle he's got one arm in one arm out and this is the transitional swaddle from love to dream and of course we've got the magical you and the dream sheep playing that beautiful white noise to help him get to sleep I honestly believe that Ewan is worth every single penny. The deluxe version is worth every single penny for that cry sensor because it does catch him when he's sort of t tossing and turning. He'll wake himself up, but Ewan will help him get back to sleep straight away, which is fantastic. Also, because George's room has the black up blind in it, when I turn the lights off, it is pitch black in there. That, again, helps him to get to sleep. No end. So, yeah, then once he's in his bed in his dark room, he might not be asleep yet, but I'll check him on the monitor. Generally, once he's in that transitional sort of in a dark room he goes to sleep within about 20 minutes but that is hit and miss for sure once I stop obsessing over the baby monitor I crack on and do some of the jobs that I haven't been able to do during the day so emptying the dishwasher maybe washing up some dishes checking George again of course I like to check on my phone to make sure that I you know I haven't missed anything he's definitely still asleep so I'm doing his bottles sterilizing all of them basically just making sure everything is ready for when George gets up so that I don't have to do this once he's gone to sleep for the night I can just chill out on my own hopefully then at about five o'clock I will feed the animals so I've got a cat and a dog and our cat Luke has some medical issues so he's got to have some medicine with his dinner so I'm just putting, popping that syringe in now so once I've given them their dinner it's time for me to start prepping mine and tonight I'm going to make some ratatouille I think. I always find ratatouille is a really good recipe to do just because it's so simple so easy I don't have to faff about with anything I just pop it all into a pot and then put it in the oven and it's ready within an hour so that's why I really like this one and it's such a simple recipe and and such a good way of using all of the veg in the fridge. Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with what I'm putting in and everything, but I will link the recipe down below if you fancy doing something like this. I won't show you everything, I'm just going to chuck the courgettes into the pan and then you'll see it materialise very, very soon. I'm not going to lie, I don't think parmesan is in the recipe, but I'm obsessed with parmesan, so loads is going on mine. <laughs> chuck that in the oven for about 45 minutes or whatever the recipe says, and then I'll just take all the washing that is in the washer dryer take that all into George's room because I can hear him stirring by this point so he's ready to get up. When I checked on the monitor at this point he was like just laying there in bed happily without even screaming which is not usual so I just turned the light on and went in, popped the washing down and grabbed George, turned Ewan off, got him out of his little swaddle and yeah time for him to get up. He's so calm I can't believe it. This is not necessarily our usual reality but tonight for some reason he's fairly happy. At this point, if I remember, I'll take you and the Dream Sheep and his transitional Love to Dream Swaddle into his next to me crib so that it's ready for him when I take him up to bed later. And then just while I'm waiting for my tea to be ready, I'm just going to give a little play with him. I've got a little sort of 
treasure basket type situation going on but because he's not sitting up yet he doesn't really he likes playing with the basket but I have to kind of present him things and he'll try and reach out and grab them like he did with that rattle he's also loving whisks at the moment and he's also loving wooden spoons I just present him with different things as the evening goes on and see what he is drawn to that evening it changes every single day though I also just love playing on his play mat with him and just being silly and putting faces and stuff it's his favorite time we haven't got George a high chair just yet because it's on the way but in the meantime we're putting him in this little bumbo chair it's really really good and it has the little activity center on it with suction cups so he's got all of that stuff in front of him to keep him entertained which he really really loves it generally gives me about 20 minutes where i can serve my dinner up and eat my dinner whilst he's being entertained with all of the fun things in front of him so i will generally just sit here with my dinner have about 20 minutes where i can like eat that calmly and not be worrying about him too much he's obviously right there next to me he's looking a bit shocked because of the camera but he does really really love that little bumbo chair Sometimes though he does get a little bit warm, especially in the kitchen once I've been cooking and stuff So I like to strip him down sometimes and just play with him on the mat, cool him down nicely And next, this is sort of the start of the wind down for him to get into his bath So we'll have a little sit down, a little play He loves for some reason just being like naked pretty much, obviously his nappy's on But he loves being naked like on his play mat or the changing mat He's just He just finds it like the funniest thing in the world And I like to pra practice sort of his rolls and stuff, he can't quite roll over on his own yet but with a little bit of a prompt and like holding my hand sometimes he does it and sometimes he doesn't uh, it just kind of depends on his mood whether he wants to if he's getting fidgety then it's just not a time to be practicing his roles I think sometimes he's just not in the mood to be played with and he's just really tired and just wants you to go away but thankfully tonight wasn't that night he was really into this he just laughs his head off sometimes especially when he gets like little raspberries blown on his belly but after about 7 30 I will start to run his bar I'll make sure that everything's set up on the bed ready for when we get out of the bath just so that there's no faffing about with a wet naked baby and yeah we'll give him a little bath and he'll be nice and clean and that'll again start to wind him down as the evening draws in and he'll start to realise that it is the start of his bedtime routine that we've only recently implemented. Since he's been four months I definitely think bedtime is something that he has got used to but I think we definitely still need to conquer those daytime naps so maybe I'll do another video about that. Usually we give him some seven ounces but recently we've been giving him eight ounces before bedtime and he completely finishes it which is amazing so I'm giving him that extra ounce and then hopefully that's going to fill him up for the evening and then I really like to read him a bedtime story and the hunger caterpillar is one of my favorites and he really seems to like the bright colors on the book so it seems to actually pay quite a lot of attention surprisingly so this part of our evening routine is actually my favorite part just because it's it feels like I'm really interacting with him in a way that I never really have before so I really love it then it gets to about 8.40, 8.45, I'll pop you in on Dream Sheep, make it nice and dim in the room and get George ready for bed. So get him in his love to dream swaddle, transitional swaddle. As we've got rid of the dummy, this usually doesn't look like this. He's really, really calm here, which I think is thanks to the bath and the book and everything. But sometimes he's screaming his head off when I put him down. So it does depend. But on this evening, he took 10 minutes to fall asleep, which was amazing. Literally unheard of for him. So after that, George was asleep in like 10 minutes, which is so quick without his dummy so I'm really impressed with him um, I am downstairs at the moment but I'm gonna head upstairs very shortly to go and have a bath and everything because I have got fake tan on I need to get rid of it I'm gonna reply to a couple of YouTube comments that I haven't got around to um, replying to yet and I'm also gonna check Instagram because I've got loads of DMs that I haven't um, responded to so I feel really bad so I'm gonna respond to them I'm gonna do some washing up and then I'm gonna go and have a bath and chill out but I'll think I'll end the vlog of me sort of running my bath and starting my relaxing evening but I hope you enjoyed this video guys it is normally so much easier for me when Ash is here because he does like half of the things that I've done it is really nice when you get to the end of the evening tidy everything away and you've got like a clean slate for the next day you feel like you've achieved something massive even though it is just looking after your child and running a house but to me that is a massive achievement especially when I'm on my own so I really hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to give it a like if you like these kind of routine videos I actually really like filming them so give it a like if you like these videos and I'll see you in the next one bye guys cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better